and then when they regain traction, you feel that. So, pretty cool. In other words, you feel the tire roll. Like, it's, it's chattering, and then it grabs traction again when I let off the brake. Yeah, that's nice. What's up Sim Racers, this is Larry at TJR Sim here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Automobilista 2 Beta. This is probably one of the most uh, most anticipated titles for 2020 to come out. Uh, we'll take a look at the store page here. Now I already, in all uh, uh, honesty here, I went ahead and looked at the game and fired it up just to make sure that everything worked. And uh, I'll try to give you my first impressions of it though. But if you're interested in this game, um, go check it out on Steam. Uh, it's a it's it's an amazing game. Uh, I haven't really played but just one lap or one race and one little test session of it, but uh, that's really good. And it's basically marrying Project Cars two with uh, Automobilista one physics and uh, force feedback. So. <laughs> Indeed, a very good marriage going on here between the two. So you got the the beautifulness of the madness engine from Project Cars, and uh, two rather uh, with the uh, you know eliminating the force feedback uh, that was from Project Cars two with that of the the spices of AMS uh, one. So. Very, very good. Uh, highly recommending it so far. Uh, this is beta now. This is going to come out of beta here in a couple of days. Or it's going to be released, rather, as beta in a couple of days uh, to y'all folks uh, of the public. I went ahead and opted into the uh, the early release backing of it. Now, since I was a early backer of the very first AMS one when they uh, did their Bonanza uh I went ahead and, and I was trying to get in on the back end of this one in the beginning, but uh, in the beginning I didn't have the funds available, so I uh, had to wait. And so I waited. It became available again, as you can see, because uh, uh, I have it. And so I went ahead and opted in. It was eighty nine ninety nine. Uh, I was glad to play that because I support what they do. And even though I'm not as crazy about their tracks and cars, uh, I do understand that this is going to be having a lot more familiar tracks to us in the states here, uh, from uh, from from what their little outline plan was for this. So you go check it out. Uh, it will go to their. You can go to check out their store page and stuff and get all the details to it. But I just want to give you the first impressions to it, and let's do that, right? Let's jump into it. Now I have where to go. Autobliss 2 Beta, as you can see, I have Autobliss 1. Great game, love the physics of it. Uh, I did not like the graphics of it. Now, on screen here, you also see I have, I'm running, equipment wise, I'm running Next Level Racing V3 Motion, and I am running uh, AccuForce V2. All of these work uh, perfect together. So I went ahead and just loaded up Project Cars 2. Uh, LMP profile that I have and I activated it. I did leave off the transducers so it doesn't make too much noise when I'm talking to y'all folks out there. So, and you can launch it, of course, with through the uh, 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 Sim Experience app here. But my experience is I like to launch this after I'm in game just so I don't have any issues and stuff. So, let's launch the game. You have uh, beta and beta with VR. We're going to do the 2D screen version here. I'm using an Alienware 34 inch uh, 3440 by 1440 monitor, and uh, it's running very high FPS with everything on ultra or high settings. I'll uh, briefly go over those, but I did a video of this. It was a, an hour long already, and I had some technical difficulty with my McLaren rim, and the audio wasn't coming in as clear, so that's why I, I can't I'm not giving you my very very first impressions of it I wanted to do that at first but just the video was not coming out or rather the video looked good but the sound wasn't coming out good and I did not want to torture you with a bad sound I was testing out a new headset that I have an Arctic uh, uh, SteelSeries uh, 9X um, 
and I was trying to use its mic and it sounded fine in some testing uh, but it's getting too crackly here for this video so I changed it uh, I'm doing another video now so eliminate that video and this one should be shorter more to the point for you so with that out of the way let's go into it so audio I went ahead and turned it down the 10 the menu volume the 5 and this is of course your your what you first see right when you come into the race menu my impressions of it first was it looks kind of flat uh, it doesn't like jump out at me as as being a a 2020 high res uh, setup it does look high res as far as the pictures go and stuff but uh, it doesn't pop uh, to me kind of like the project cars one or two pop to me but however I do like that I don't have to scroll through a bunch of menus uh, to find different setups and first off what you got here selection wise is everything's on the front screen which I do like you got your race menu you got your options very straightforward and quick to get into very snappy menu system you got single races test day championship multiplayer and time trial uh, championship and time trial are not activated yet multiplayer is activated you can do that for those that are in it already uh, championship if you remember project cars 2 you had a championship that you could start off with say go-karts and advance your way through your career and be the ultimate uh, eraser right we don't know how this is going to pan out well maybe you do if you look at the uh, I don't quite remember how they're going to do this yet uh, or if it was even discussed because I'm kind of a little late to the party of here because you know it's it's a sim racing game I already know I'm gonna like it I already plan on buying it uh, <laughs> but uh, I was just waiting till they got further along uh, to get into the beta and I tried doing that last month but it was locked away so I had to wait until now I tried it again and I saw it so I have it all right so anyway options here let's go over the options real quick uh, gameplay visual FX uh, camera audio performance control system and triple scheme uh, screens support so everything that you loved about project course 2 is in this one as far as the menu system very snappy as you can tell as well uh, here's all your settings here. I kept it with authentic, uh, full damage, mechanical failures, tire wear, wear, real driving, all these little setups and stuff. Pretty, pretty straightforward. HUD, I put it on full just so you can see everything going on. Track map and stuff off. Uh, starting grid lights on. Opponent names only on multiplayer. Always, I, I like a very chatty engineer and spotter, so I put them on always. And uh, proximity indicator. And actually, when I did a single race already, I didn't hear these guys talking, so that's not really activated yet, at least not on always. Although, there was literally an update in between the last hour. hour. Oh, I did an hour video on the first one, and then I paused, and now I'm doing this video now for y'all. Um, <laughs> there was an update, so they are continually updating this. Visual FX, post-processing filters. This is, you know, you've seen this on Project Cars 2 as well. Uh, but just a lot better organized area here uh, than it was on Project Cars 2. It's just really just straight to the point, which I do like. Uh, so I turn these all on full and everything on. Again, I'm running a 2080 Ti, uh, pretty baller system here, so I uh, shouldn't have a problem with any of this here. Uh, bumper cams, you know, you got all these uh, speed sensitivities, all the same selections you were used to project cars too so i'm not going to dive into this too much but just know that it is there if you familiar with project cars 2 it is there if you're not familiar with the project cars games i'm sorry i went through it quickly uh but i don't want to bore you too much but it is there any component that you have on your on your rig whether uh it's not matching components or it is matching components this game does pick up now ams1 didn't there was only a, a, a finite amount of them. It said it would do a ton of them, right? But what I found was when I'm testing out, uh, I had a, 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 a have an AccuForce and I have a, an AccuForce uh, rim that I was testing out that I can't talk about. But it was uh, it was you know registering as two devices, so I only had a limited amount of devices. So even when I run my McLaren rim. Uh, I could run a button box, two button boxes, but not my motion at the same time. So I had to turn off, unplug one of my button boxes because it always recognized it. And sometimes I would, I would sit in this dang setup, uh, you know, for 30 minutes trying to get something to work.
for AMS and, and searching on the internet, like how come this stuff isn't working? It's not recognizing my wheel or it's not recognizing my motion and my wheel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I am happy to say that it is not an issue with this one. I literally took me uh, longer to discuss this to, with you than it did to work. So, but anyway, control schemes, <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. If you had a hard time with the menu system and setting up your peripherals with the AMS-1, that is all uh, but eliminated uh, with this AMS-2. So really like it. You can calibrate your wheel here, calibrate your pedals, uh, go through it just like you would any other game. Uh, configuration, set your dead zones and stuff. Your edit assignments, this is just like Project Cars 2, where you can edit your motion parts of them. I already have them set up. Uh, let me see, I'll put my clutch up to my McLaren, and the clutch, or my gear down rather, to my McLaren wheel. Um, I had it to my AO logs. Uh, see ignition. These are all set up to my DSD button boxes. Uh, headlights. Let me see headlights. Is that set up? Yeah. Wipers. Yep. Curves and DRS. I usually set these up on my McLaren rim. I have them labeled DRS and curves, but uh, we actually I have it labeled DRS. I don't have a sticker for curves, but I am. Uh, I picked something on my button box for the DRS. Uh, pit limiter, yeah, I have my P for that one. Increased brake bias, that's with my D, uh, DSD box. Uh, ABS, stability, traction control, it's all good. So all these settings are here. Look left and look right. This is what I set up for normally my DRS buttons. Look left and look right. But since we're doing a 2D screen, I uh, just set it up on my wheel itself. Now once we do a VR look at this game, I will reassign my menus on my wheel to be DRS and curves. Here's your in-game settings as well. Set it up to your liking. Force feedback. This is cool. So you, I, as my understanding is, you can put in your own custom force feedback settings, kind of like uh, all of us on PC with Project Horse 2. Since their force feedback sucked <laughs> in the very beginning, uh, we we had to rely on someone like Jack Spades that did all these custom settings for us, and he did actually have them for console too at one time. Uh, but I don't see it up anymore. Uh, last time I checked, about a month ago, rather. Uh, but uh, heavily re relied on his custom setups to get a good feel for the game. But, you know, some cars it felt great, some it didn't. But I, I do have videos up on, on what to do on that for Project Cars 2 if you're interested. But this one here, you can still, of course, have custom profiles. But being that this is AM, Automobilista, you're not probably going to need that. Uh, especially if you're using AccuForce because you can get your wheel to feel exactly like you want it to with AccuForce uh, software, so it's probably not going to be needed. Uh, gain, 100%, that's fine. Uh, low boost, I, I turn this off because you, with a direct drive wheel, you normally don't need this, but if you have a, a, a lower end wheel, uh, it defaults at 50. Try it out and see. Uh, zero is what I'm running. FX, it defaults at 50. I left it at there. And this is what you're feeling as far as on the track, you know, your, your, what you feel here. Now, you mean your strength, uh, spring strength? I leave it on zero. I think it was default was two. I love that they have arrows here, which is good. But uh, if you notice your wheel shaking while sitting there, and I'm going to turn it up to 100 so you can hear my wheel. Hear that? <laughs> That's just the wheel shaking on its own uh, from the menu sh spring strength. So uh, I don't even know why this isn't. I guess it's good as an option because I can turn it off. Maybe some games that would be a problem, but I turn it off. If you have that experience, turn it off. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Cameras. High speed shake on. I don't think I did that one. Uh, let's see. Controls we just did. Adding assignments, right? Uh, what else did it? Performance. There we go. Performance resolution. This is my monitor. Windowed. Uh, texture resolution. This is all just like Project Cars 2 and one for that matter but uh just in case you're new to this i'll go over it quickly texture resolution you know i pick it on high that's the range 16 for for texture filtering uh but 16 is what i use v-sync off because i have a g-sync monitor msa a on high low medium if you're curious about how to make this work better for a low-end car check out some of my old project cars 2 videos uh, how to's I go in depth of how to set this and get the optimal FPS with VR as well as 2D screens so check them out uh, but since I'm running a 2080 Ti I can pretty much max all these out and still get a hundred plus FPS so 
Uh, I put everything on high, on ultra or high, as you can see here, enhanced mirror. Really love that feature, glad it carried over here. Um, motion blur off, render frames ahead too. Detail grass on high. Uh, I usually keep this on low, it doesn't really make a difference. I noticed when the first go around of an hour on low looked great, but this go around, I'll put it on high just to see there's a difference. So, performance, that's it. Audio, of course, is is audio system. This is where you want to turn on if you are doing, uh, like me, next level racing motion rig or any kind of motion rig, and uh, you want it to be able to uh, recognize it. So I put it on shared memory for two, uh, UDP frequency. I can't remember what this is uh, for, so but I put it on one, and because that's what I had it on my old game. And then Project Cars 2 here as a selection as well for UDP protocol version. Uh, this is so it should pick up your motion and stuff just fine, which it does in my very first hour of this testing, like I said before. So let's go out to and do a test day and show you what's going on. So here you see this next screen. You got your session settings, your vehicle, and your circuit uh, selection here and the start button. You just fire right into it. Uh, session settings here just like Project Cars 2, except as you notice, it's all very quick and easy to navigate. It's, it's, it's not a, a bunch of blown out, uh, it's not extra frills in this rather. Uh, it's just to the point, which I, I do appreciate. But you can do current date, uh, let me see your, let's see, default, custom date, current date, and default. I'm gonna do current date, and then your starting time, you know, 10 to whenever. This is military time, of course. Uh, we'll do, uh, let's do 11. <laughs> so, uh, real time, uh, time progression. You can do off 60x, up to 60x rather, and uh, in real time. I like real time. Now, if you want to go through a lot of weather changes and stuff, it's, it's pretty cool to use uh, bumping it up like 10 times, 15 times, so it'll scroll through that stuff. You know, let's do that. Let's go 10 times, so it'll scroll through them for us. Uh, session spring, because that's based off the current date. Weather slots, I picked four. And uh, let me see, fog. Let's go clear for the first one. Oh, so now this is uh, the menu system here for all your weather selections if you're not familiar with Project Cars uh, stuff. But uh, this looks really good. I love this this high fidelity, uh, or this high resolution rather, uh, snapshot of things going on. It looks really good. I believe that's from Project Cars 2 already carried over I think these little icons are a little washed out I think they should be crisper like this text is so I'd like to see that updated it looks like it was a crisp image at one time and then blown up a little bit bigger uh, for us to see uh, but it would be nice if that was updated to nice crisp looking edges on it so that's just me being nitpicky but that is just something I noticed but but let's go clear light clouds light rain and then clear again we'll confirm that going forward now the vehicle selection is pretty cool um, you have all these cars now we don't know what the heck these cars are here in the states a lot of us uh, these are unfamiliar territory for us although they are bringing cars like GT3 and stuff which is great uh, but I don't know I mean I know that's a Volkswagen but but uh, I, I don't some of these cars I just don't know that's a golf uh, Volkswagen golf right there they since they don't have the license to it they can't name it Volkswagen you know uh, these are of course the trucks I'm glad to see that the trucks came over that's really cool uh, let's see four wheel cars to say don't have the license again uh, you know you got the their um, their versions of them <laughs> f3 cars highlight over formula f was it f301 this gen 1 model 2 so all these different car selections I would like to see in these menus that they were highlighted. Like it's kind of, you see F Riza here, right? But if you scroll up and down through here, it might be, it's not very apparent of where you left off if you're just trying to look at all the selections. So it'd be nice if it had a nice outline, just something for the devs to consider. Put a nice ring around here or, or highlight it around the edges rather uh, that make it pop this. So you, you know, can clearly see when you're scrolling through here, where did I leave off? And, uh, and and select it again. That's just something I suggest. Uh, you have to actually go over and highlight the car for it to go. I would like it, as I click on this, it automatically changes this car to something different. Not that I have to go over here and highlight it to pull up there. It should just give me a pr preview, automatic preview. If there's just one as a selection, 
or there's multiple ones, just give me one of them. Uh, it preview automatically. I should be able to click on this and it automatically previews on this screen what it is. Uh, so that's just a little nitpicky as well. Uh, Ultima, I love this car. It's really cool. No, no electronics or anything on it. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, you got cardings back. So that's great. I uh, love to see that. You got to actually physically click on each one for it to uh, come up on the preview screen. Uh, but yeah, it works. Uh, very snappy menu system. Love these cars too. The P1s, Metal Moras, Chevy V8, Honda, Judd, V6, AJR V6. So really cool stuff here. Street cars. Huh. Ultima street car. That's cool. What is that? 600 horsepower. Holy cow. Stock cars. So let's go back to the Ultima. Now you can click on showroom here and, and check out the goodness of it. The resolution so it looks really really good in the showroom uh nice crispness of the car nice shine nice uh reflections from the uh, lights above and stuff so this looks really good guys uh it actually looks like it's setting right there's a little bit of shadow but it looks like it's setting uh on the pavement there so really nice how they did this i did wish that i could click on it with my mouse and go out of this preview and just rotate the car around and look at things and stuff but I mean as far as just showing off the car it looks really good if you right click it goes back out of it and of course you can click on your liveries and select which ones you want to look at and if you say select that one and go to showroom you'll preview that particular one so pretty cool I'm gonna go back oops I'm gonna go back to the green the green Hulk monster there and I'm gonna select that one and track wise now this is where I wish it would pick up from like this selection here. Uh, this is a nice high resolution. I wish on the tracks it did something like that as well. Uh, nice high resolution. Whatever the favorite corner is or this particular track is famous for uh, there because you got to remember that a lot of these tracks, you know, these Brazilian tracks, we don't know here in the States, in the United States, uh, not as familiar with them because uh, it's not pop it's not popular on on uh on espn or or any of the racing channels that we watch it's, these tracks aren't very popular so uh i can easily recognize what brand hatch is because you can watch gt3 or gt racing there uh donington parts the amola uh inter not inter largo that's not popular it's popular to me now because i, I had ams1 but Drez, I mean, Mo MotoGP, you see here. Uh, some of these tracks are very popular. Uh, like Laguna here in the States, we all know that. We know um, Road America, Road Atlanta, stuff like that, right? So uh, it would be nice if they had some kind of snippet to the screen here that showed like the most popular uh, selection of that track. Also, look at some of these previews work, but this is no preview here. Uh, same here there's no preview I don't know what this little preview white space is for but this is beta so keep in mind this is beta but uh, yeah I, I think there can be some improvement there but I do like seeing the track layout and all the information about it how many turns the link this is something you know is normal uh, to see so that's great I would just like a little bit more pop in the menu some kind of preview maybe here maybe this what this no maybe that's what that little uh, space that uh, that's holding it there is supposed to be uh, some kind of nice uh, 3d image of it going on so that would be cool if they fill that in with some kind of snippet so but you do have your different track selections so you're not limited there full uh, half track or not half track but smaller version of the track and then the full track here but let's select it and go and get on on track and give you some impressions of the driving so so far hopefully you're enjoying this this isn't being boring but if you are interested in this game uh, this is a good first look for you to know if this is really what it is for you. See if it covers some of the bases, bases of, of a game that, uh, you know, if you're familiar with Project Cars 2, you know, th does this have the great aspects of Project Cars 2 and eliminate the bad ones? Well, let's see. So here you got your, you can go ahead and start with what you got, or you can edit your setup. As you can tell here, you can make your custom setups like you could in Project Cars 2 and one and uh or reset the, the defaults load them you want to load it you can load whatever one you have uh hit back over here you can save each one so that's all the same advanced setup here you got your 
your brakes and stuff. Let's hope that uh, these tire pressures are, are accurate. Uh, unlike Project Cars 2, I felt like I had to lower the tire pressures down to as low as they would go to get good traction and stuff. But in this game, it, it seems to work like intended. Traction control, you, got you can change it right here on the fly too. Although this car I don't think has traction control. Analog brakes 50%. Uh, so we'll just leave it default. Uh, but anyway, let's go out to hit back and start. Now, I'm automatically getting vibration through my wheel from just in-game. Uh, and it feels good, actually. You feel like the traction in the car. But let me go ahead and launch uh, my AMS-2 from sim experience and yep I'm getting a little bit more vibration now because I have the vibration turned up in that so I know it's working and uh, so yeah good stuff now to the right of the menu you can see uh, DRS and, and all that uh, your your fuel your your tires being green let me activate my pit limiter that works huh, nice very very pretty graphics oh man you can feel the you can feel that ungulation of the track there. Look at that smoke in the mirror. That's what I like. Nice. Nice feedback. Nice rumble. Through the corners. And then when they regain traction, you feel that. So pretty cool. In other words, you feel the tire roll. Like it's, it's chattering and then it grabs traction again when I let off the brake. Yeah, that's nice. Back tire. Plus with the motion moving me around too. And just, ooh, man, that's nice. See how my wheel yanked? Or, or went left and right there is because I, I lost traction and gained traction and you know if you're used to games hiring games or AMS one you know that was prevalent oh man that's that's a fun spin out <laughs> because I felt the tires I felt the tire move or you know felt the traction of the tire move this way and then back this way when I spun and then and then start to come to a stop and the tire you can feel the tire flex under that so that's really cool let's see if drs works no nah. see if we can do a burnout look at that tire smoke coming <laughs> okay you can do rolling burnouts Whoa. So I think it's a little bit strong. So let's see if we can change stuff here in the menu system. Uh, gameplay. Nope. Camera contr controls. Controls, I think. Yeah. Controls, force feedback. I always forget where force feedback would be. I wish there was just a separate menu for force feedback, to be honest. But uh, let's turn the FX down to maybe 35 and see what that does. Let's see. Zoom. I still feel the uh, road bumps and stuff real nicely, so it didn't affect that too much, which is good. The FX really should just be. Yeah, it's just what you're feeling through the track. So it's, it's a little bit less busy now. And, of course, the force feedback itself is strong. So I just want to see, since I'm running AccuForce, if I can just adjust it here and see if it, it hits, you know. I like that they have arrows, too. You can hit exactly what you want. Uh, see if it makes a difference. Of course, you can adjust it to the day's end out of your AccuForce itself and get the perfect feel. And then, of course, run through 
uh, steering foundation and all that. So right now we're just using in-game four seat bag. That's better. Oh, that feels better. Yeah, that's a lot better. I'm, 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 when the lockups are coming through the front wheel, I'm able to control uh, my wheel better with it not yanking me around. There's different camera views. This guy has really long fingers. <laughs> this is okay. You got your helmet cam. That's cool. And it muffles the sound too. And it kind of grates. Uh, get that visual of speed by the you look at the, t the attack and stuff it gets real clear and then it gets a little bit up uh, foggy looking rather as the faster you go to kind of represent faster speed so all that stuff carried over from project cars too which is pretty cool so uh, that's really good to see I usually leave that feature off because in real life you can see your tack good and your vision's not blurred. <laughs> but I do think it's a really neat effect uh, to blur it. And the looking through corners as you can see there worked as well as it tried to look where my car was going. Whoa! Everything's working nice, just like Project Cars 2, except car handling is way better. Of course, this is a car that has, you know, no traction control, no ABS, uh, <laughs> no stability control, no nothing. This is a pure racing car here. As you can tell, I'm keep spinning out. But you feel that, and I kind of, you know, the, I did that on accident first, but then I just kept it going because you feel when the tire grabs and then lets go. All right, let's check out the AI race and see. Got a little bit familiar with that car. Return to pit box. You can do skip to end still, so that's cool. Or you can go back and drive. We'll exit and say yes. I like the menu system. Very quick. And look how quick it it gets out of everything. It, see, it, it snapped back really quick. So let's go to, I think I have to go back. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I have to go back. So single race. We'll do that. Five laps. Uh, weather looks good, light clouds, let me see what the weather selection is. Light cloud, light rain, and then overcast. Let's do uh, light cloud again. Let's do, uh, yeah, clear, light rain, and then light clouds. Three of them, right? Uh, Donington again, and everything's disabled there. We're just going to go, well, opponent settings. You do have that, so that's really nice. I mean, everything's laid out real nice here. I like that. Opponent settings, we'll do 15, AI on 90, uh, aggression. I usually like aggression high. Same class, but you can change multi-class, which that's that's here in this game as well, which is awesome, because then I can come over here and select. Uh, shit, man, if I wanted trucks in here racing with me, I could do trucks. <laughs> that, that would be a funny race, wouldn't it? Have big-ass rigs next to you. <laughs> now, again, I do wish that as I highlight these, it would put something over here to the right of the screen so I know what it is because I don't know what some of these cars are because I'm not familiar with them. I know what a heck a card is. I know I'm doing GT Open now because it has a little uh, a little red line there it, to pick your selection. Uh, but so like if I pick this one, see how it has that little red dash there? So you know those are the two that you have picked. But, and I unselect it and it goes away. But I really don't know what that car is. So it'd be nice if it put a little picture here to show me what the heck that car is. Um, like, where's the truck? I can do a street car in there. Lancer, V12. I don't see the trucks, actually. There it is, trucks. This word, this this verbiage here is in the way. So that needs, to, this little eye needs to move out here somewhere. <laughs> this information area needs to move out of the way. So anyway, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they just need a little bit of extra work as far as uh, making it apparent of what you're selecting. So yeah, all in all, very good. But I'm going to go back to just say same class. 
uh, and say confirm and say okay Donatin yep again menu system very fast love it every game that comes out should have a fast menu system like that and loading up this engine is awesome it loads up pretty fast compared to other ones I mean if you're used to R Factor 2 taking a half a day to load up a, a game you will appreciate this <laughs> so let's start it and go getting my rumble going on here my wheel Yes. Ooh, you can feel that tire even in second gear get a little squirrely. And uh, yeah, really good feedback. The motion is working great. Man, this looks good. Oh, look at that car. Oh, I hit it too. God <laughs> dang it. I didn't see a bunch of uh, damage though. Let's see what my car looks like. Yeah, it's not really that damaged. Let's see. Yeah. So the damage system's not really working yet. But that's okay. I'm sure it's going to come. This Project Cars 2 was really good with their damage system. I mean, you could be rolling around on three tires. That wheel hop to the front end from the back end pushing and having an understeer was really good. AI is actually pretty good too. They tend to stay out of your way and they hold their line, which is all you can ask for really. They give you a challenge and hold your line. There's the aero system you can see there. Of, well, I say they hold their line, but he ran into me. This is only my second race, so Let's see if he holds his line there. He's coming in tight, but he backed off. All right, pretty good, pretty good. AMS One had a little feature that when you would look back, you had to pick whether you wanted to look back at your inside your car. Or if it would go to oh shit oh man that's nice that was fun to crash oh it's that guy did lose a tire that's cool so I guess some of the damage system is working there's a tire laying on the ground anyway sliding sideways was awesome let's see my windshield wipers windshield wipers don't work and I can't tell if I turn my headlights on or off so it needs to be an indication for that maybe there's not in real life on this particular that's why. But I don't see any visual cues like in Project Cars 2. I can visually see the light shine on the ground. Let's see if I do uh, like that. Rear view. No, like that. Yeah, okay, there we go. So I turn my lights on and off. I don't see windshield wipers. Don't work. And although it clearly has windshield wipers. So. Oh, your tail lights you can see come on too. Okay. Windows up, lights on. All right, this is all party testing the new new sim, so I'm hoping you're enjoying this look at Optimus Bliss 2. Really good feedback through the rumble strips there. I like it. Uh, the wet actually feels significantly wetter, but not like ice. Project Cars 2 made it feel like ice in the rain. This feels more like a real wet track. Uh, you know, from a light rain. You get a little bit more spin up uh, when you're heavy under the throttle, but you know better not to be heavy on the throttle. But not so much where you're sliding around too much extra because you know the track isn't too saturated with this light rain, right? So you didn't expect it to feel extra slick. But just a little bit under, under the severe cases of hard braking, right? And that's what I'm getting here. I ran over their little piece of car. A lot of wheel hop through there uh, from this stiff suspension. Okay, they done clearly ran off from me, but <laughs> it's okay. 
Yeah, nice little, you can tell the rain's coming down here more. The track looks slicker. You have to really maybe the throttle through there. But again, it's not like ice, so that's very good. You can tell hard on the brakes. Now, if you look to the right of the screen there where it has the gear indicator, I don't have a uh, brake indicator. The, the red should be the brake indicator, but it's just fully on. But it's not clearly showing the amount of pressure I'm putting to the brake. So that needs to be adjusted. Looking out of the car looks amazing. And the most important part is, is the physics and force feedback. I'm able to tell what my car's doing. I'm able to tell the lockup of it. Heck, you can even see on the side mirrors there of uh, the dirt and grime that's already on them from going through that rain. So that's really good. Of course, you see it through your in, in well, I guess that your in onboard camera, you're picking up that dirt and stuff from the camera at the back of the car. So that's pretty cool. And it's sunny again. Dodge that tire. <laughs> you can see it roll from the weather. Maybe I should have put them on a lesser, since I crashed, uh, I put them on a lower uh, opponent skill. But uh, I'd be able to catch them. But now they're too far off. Oh, shit. Huh. Severe damage. Let me see what it looks like now. Okay, the car's clearly leaning, though. Oh, you do see some damage on the headlight. The headlight's messed up. The headlight doesn't flash or doesn't come on on the right one. So there is some damage. Let's see if I can knock something off. Get in. You can see that my mirrors are a little jacked up too. <laughs> definitely, definitely seems like some suspension damage. I like the puddle in the water there. <laughs> this is all in the uh, love of testing here. Do it for y'all. <laughs> Severe damage, fast car approaching, that's cool. Oh, I see that water splash up, that's cool. Now, my suspension is totally jacked, so you definitely damage this is definitely worth it. It's just that the visual damage isn't as great as I thought it would be. Let's see if I run into these cars and happens. Yeah, my left, my left windows are, I'm sorry, uh, light is damaged, but it's not too severe. <laughs> Can't drive this car. Everything's too damaged on it. All right, good stuff. Let's go into pits and see what happens. Let's see if we got our pit crew out there. Request pit stop. I'm trying to do that. I don't know if it worked. Yeah, there's my pit crew. Let's see what goes on. Time penalty because I went too fast. Perfect. Oh, okay. So it automatically goes to them doing something. Oh, okay. Interesting. But you don't really see him doing anything, so that part sucks. Let's see, go to this. Nope. Oh, maybe it was the end of the race, though. Yeah, end of the race. Alright, well, good enough. So, it looks like the pit crew isn't... You see him out there, but it's not fully active like it is in Project Cars 2. So, I expect that to come as well. Um... I think that's probably it. I think I probably took up enough of your time here looking at this first look, though. Also, we'll do another uh, first look with it in VR, and we can see what's going on there if I've noticed anything wrong with it. But uh, as you can see, multi-class does work here. If we go into multi-class, there's, well, two people <laughs> playing. No, there's several people, 3 of 24, 8 of 24, and 3 of 20. So not a lot of people in this right now. But, uh, again, this is beta, and it's not publicly released yet, beta. So... Uh, that is to be expected. So, yeah, but you, all in all, 
physics of this game are, are money. It is good. It's just, it's what you expect from AMS one going forward. Uh, there may be a little bit of difference, but I'm not. I'm, I'm honestly with just this one car test. I can't tell uh, if you if it doesn't feel any different than AMS one uh, as far as using that Optima car, but or Ultima car. I'm sorry, but uh, you know as you start selecting different cars and stuff, you, you know you can start start noticing differences in the cars and whether they feel like AMS one. That's you know we'll we'll soon find out, but. All in all, testing out just this one car and one track feels remarkable. Uh, it's definitely a huge step up from Project Cars 2 as far as force feedback goes and stuff. So, yeah, I think it'd be worth your time to check this game out when it comes out on beta here in a couple days. I uh, hope you enjoyed this first look, uh, seeing what I see as I see it. So, uh, yeah, leave some comments below if you already got the beta, uh, what you think about the game. Uh, for us all learn to learn from your experience as well but all in all what I'm looking for in a game is 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 great force feedback and car physics with the graphics and this is getting it all right there in one shot plus the additional of my direct drive wheel works and my motion works so boom all of that's working out of the gate in beta so yeah really happy with that so we'll check you later on the track Hope you enjoy this again. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notifications, and sharing is caring. So we will check you next time on the track. I'm out.